hi everyone uh, so we will be discussing this problem prime visits and as you can see the success rate is a uh, little lesser than other problems so let's see what this problem is and basically this problem is about finding prime numbers and basically we want to count a uh, number of prime numbers in a given range a to b okay so we have to count how many prime numbers are in the range a to b and what the makes this problem lit more difficult is you have number of queries okay so you have given thousand queries up to thousand queries and in each query you will be given two numbers a and b and you have to print the count of numbers in the range a to b so for example in the first test case you can see uh, between 1 to 10 you have four prime numbers you have 2 3 5 and 7 and in the second test case you again have uh, four prime numbers so you have 11 13 17 and 19 so you have these four prime numbers so what is a possible mistake that people are doing in this question is they are trying to find the numbers in the range a to b for every query okay for every query so if you have 1000 queries and let's say you are still using very efficient methods such as prime sieve to compute number of uh, numbers in the range uh, a to b so this will approximately take let's say linear time let's say b minus a time okay and if you have 1000 uh, queries let's say this is q number of queries and you're taking let's say linear time so this will uh, take a complexity of order of q into n okay so let's say q is 1000 and n is 10 raised to the power 6 so that makes this as 10 raised to the power 9 so clearly you are going to get a tla in this problem the trick that we have to use to solve this problem is we actually need to av avoid computing prime numbers for uh, different queries so we have to compute prime numbers only once okay so what we will do we can make a prime sieve and we can just run the sieve code once to pre compute an array of primes so the idea is to pre compute the array of primes for example if you have 2 3 5 7 so you put one at those indices where you have prime numbers and all other indices are zero so this you can do using uh, you uh, prime sieve and this takes a time of order of n into log of log of n so it is approximately linear so let's say this is a uh, approximately order of n and for every query what you can do you can build one more array that basically denotes what is the count of prime numbers up to 7 what is the prime number uh, count of prime numbers up to a particular position i so you just take a cumulative sum of all of these okay so up to 2 you have pr one prime number up to 3 you have two prime numbers up to 5 you have three prime numbers up to 7 you can say you, you have four prime numbers up to 10 you have again four prime numbers okay so you maintain a cumulative sum of uh, prime numbers up to a index i and once you get an query what do you do you subtract number of primes you have seen till 11 minus number of uh, sorry yeah number of primes you have uh, till 20 so cumulative sum of 20 that basically denotes up to the number 20 how many primes you have minus cumulative sum of 10 so that basically subtracts how many prime numbers you have up to 10 okay so up to 20 you will have eight primes up to 10 you will have four primes so this will give you 8 minus 4 4 so basically you will be doing each query in o1 time once you have computed a prefix a uh, prefix sum array okay or the cumulative sum array so that will reduce the complexity from q into n into order of q plus n okay so this is the uh, complexity to pre compute the primes and this is the complexity for q queries and each query runs in order one time okay so this is what we are going to do so for this part i am going to use the prime sieve code if you have not seen my tutorial on prime sieve please go and watch it and i'm just going to show you how do you run queries and do the pre computation of number of primes okay so i hope uh, this logic is clear and so let's quickly discuss how we can solve this problem okay okay let me uh, jump to the code okay so i have written the code for prime sieve as you can see here and what i will do now i will make a array of cumulative sum that is of this order 
and this actually is a boolean array okay so it contains zero and ones so ones at those positions where you have uh, where you have a prime number okay so this function basically fills this array so let's initialize a cumulative sum array and let's make it zero and let us pre-compute uh, the primes up to an index i okay so what you can do for int i equals to 0 i less than the maximum range so maximum is 10 per 6 i plus plus i can say okay uh, let's start from 1 okay so cumulative sum of i equals to cumulative sum of i minus 1 whatever is the number of primes till the previous index plus 1 or 0 depending on the current i okay so if i number is prime then p of i will be 1 otherwise uh, otherwise it will be 0 okay so plus p of i so this p array contains 0 or 1 depending uh, the number is prime or not okay so this completes the pre-computation part next is i will uh, take input the number of queries from the user so scene queries and i can say okay while q minus minus i will take input the range a and b so int a b scene a b and what i can do i can just do c out um, c sum of b minus c sum of a minus one and l okay for every query i'm just going to give the output so you can see this uh, doing this operation is a order one operation and this loop runs in order of q time and this runs in approximately linear time okay so this is linear plus linear so order of n plus q so let's see if we can uh, get the test cases right so the this is prime visits okay so so let's say two test cases 1 to 10 4 primes 11 to 20 4 primes so this looks correct and now let's uh, try to submit this code on id also okay so let's make the submission okay so in the meanwhile it's uh, getting submitted i'll just uh, give you a quick uh, recap of what we are doing here so basically this uh, p array is an array like this okay so it's like uh, one is not prime so you have a zero here two is prime three is prime four is not prime five is prime six is not prime seven is prime not prime not prime not prime prime okay eight nine ten eleven okay and this cumulative sum array i'm making from this array okay so up to here the sum is zero up to here the sum is one up to here the sum is two up to here the sum is two up to here the sum is three and so on okay so if you want to find out how many prime numbers are in this particular range so you find out how many numbers are up to this point and you subtract how many numbers are up to this point so this is what i am doing here okay so this is the important part and the main thing that you want you have to apply in this question is pre-computing primes okay so if you do the computation of primes for every query then you are going to get TLE okay but in in our case we should not get a TLE so let's see if we passed all test cases okay so you can see we have passed all test cases and our code is correct so thanks a lot uh, I hope you would uh, solve this problem now